Hey guys, it's Brendan. Uh, today I'm going to show you how to fix the error with the uh, Blu-rays not reading the disc, like the Blu the Blu-ray player not reading discs. Um, I forget what the number of it is called. I'll put it on screen right now for uh, for anybody who's looking for it. And I'll also put it in the title and the description. Um, and so a while ago, I think this is a few weeks ago. I was on with tech support for about an hour, and they couldn't help me. They told me basically the standard stuff that happens when you have an Xbox One problem. Take out the battery, or unplug the battery, do a power cycle, completely shut down the console, clear system catch, all that. And it, um, it didn't, uh, work. And I assume it didn't work for you either. So, um, basically, I want to tell you... The logic behind it first, or not the logic, but why certain discs don't work. Um, it has to do with the coding on the discs. Like here, I'm gonna have um, Jackie Brown. Is like this disc. Discs like this, they feel more like DVDs because DVDs are thinner than Blu-rays by a, probably a fifth of an inch, I think. But when you get something like this, discs like this, when they're clear and they feel like they're a bit thicker, they'll work for the most part all the time. But discs like this, uh, again, because the coating, because these are made a little bit cheaper, not as in they're bad, but they're, um, they're like probably the cost reduction and everything like that. So basically, what I'm going to show you is something. Tech support never even told me, and I just saw on a forum one time. So, once you put it in, something like that usually happens to you. It either makes that loud noise, or it just doesn't read it at all. And after a few seconds on screen, it'll just say something like, It can't read the disc, uh, try again, I guess. So, let's just go pop that out. And this, I'm not sure if this will work every single time, but it worked for me. Um, it's worked for me every single time. It might work for you every single time, but it's worked for me. So basically what you need to do is um, hold on to the disc, and once it gets louder, it'll drag it in. And do that at least twice twice, or at most twice, and then it will just start reading as uh, normal. Yeah, so like, to reiterate, basically what you do is instead of just putting in the disc and that being it, you, once it's halfway in, hold on to it, once it gets louder, just let go. Do that at most twice, it depends, um, how, when's the last time you used the machine or anything? If there was a disc right before, like for me, it didn't work the first time because there was a game in. Uh, the It also has a hard time reading DVDs as in compared to Blu rays like this because it's really meant for professional Blu rays um, and not really sort of like cheaper made Blu rays like this or DVDs, they expect you to play games and Blu-rays and nothing else. I'm not sure about CDs, I assume it uh, it has, but I haven't used any CDs at all on my console. Well, I hope this video was uh, helpful to you. Rate, comment, subscribe, and more videos coming soon. Thank you.